Hi everyone, I've made a video before where I ate like a Disney princess for a day and my friend Elena suggested that I eat like a Disney villain for a day and that's what I'm gonna do today. It's a bit more challenging because Disney villains don't eat a whole lot, especially not whole meals. So I've had to improvise a little bit, but don't worry, it's still gonna be fun. We're gonna start pretty easy for breakfast. I'm gonna have eggs inspired by Gaston. When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. But unlike him, I'm not gonna just swallow them whole because that's not what I do. Keeping it simple, just gonna fry up the eggs, put them on the bread, and I just slammed the eggs into the cupboard, but it survived, so. And now that I'm grown, I eat five dozen eggs. All right, eggs are done. Clearly, it's not a very adventurous the camera is not straight, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Gaston, for actually allowing me to have breakfast food. I know that a lot of people consider Gaston, like, maybe the scariest villain because he is quite realistic. And I feel like if you're a person who dates men or you have friends who do, the older you get and the more you see, you just realize that it's so true because he represents the absolute adocity of men and it's not pretty. It's time for lunch. This one is slightly improvised. It's inspired by Stromboli from Pinocchio. After Pinocchio's performance, Stromboli is counting his money and he's eating what would go in a sandwich like he's eating bread and meat and cheese and vegetables and stuff like that but he's just sticking them on his sword and eating them off his sword so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna make an actual sandwich for my sandwich I'm gonna have some tomatoes some red onion some cucumber some lettuce some black pepper cheese because it felt like something that Stromboli would like and I'm gonna have this corn pretend chicken I've never had corn before but all these meals are so meat heavy and I I am not a big meat eater, so I thought I would try this. And I also made this carrot and chia seed bread last night. It is so good, so I feel like, I feel like Stromboli would approve. The sandwich is ready, it looks really good, and as Stromboli is having wine, I decided to be really extra and put some squash in a wine glass, because I don't have any wine right now, but just for the effect. <laughs> This cheese though, it's strong. Not pepper-wise, but cheese-wise. Stromboli is another one of those Disney villains that has no conscience whatsoever. Well, obviously that's what the movie is about, having a conscience. But Pinocchio's villains literally do not care about other people and they just want to get money. Like, they're so greedy. But this movie is horrifying. Like, Monstro is one thing, but the kids turning into donkeys? I'm glad no one's able to tell that I've been wearing glasses. It's time to make dinner and it's dark outside now so the lighting is a little bit different. If you are, first of all, a fun person and someone who knows their Disney movies, you probably know what I'm gonna make for dinner. If I didn't already put it in the thumbnail, because I probably did. I am gonna make Kronk's spinach puffs from Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> is something burning? <laughs> My spinach puffs. Saved them. That's oh, great. great. Good job. Uh, very good job. Watch it. They're still hot. Good work, Crunk. Oh, they're so easy to make. I'll get you the recipe. If you haven't seen the movie, you have to watch it. If you haven't seen it, we cannot be friends. And to everyone who isn't Norwegian, I'm so sorry that you're missing out on the best version of the movie because it's not as good in English. I am sorry. I have prepared everything that I need here. Got the puff pastry, got the different cheeses, got the egg white and the egg yolk separated, got some frozen spinach and some diced up garlic and onion. So let's do this thing. Got the onion sauteing for five minutes, then we're gonna add the garlic and spinach for three to five more minutes. Got my spinach, garlic and onion going and <clears throat> I cut the, <laughs> I cut the pastry dough, but I definitely underestimated what 10 centimeters is. And they're supposed to be squares, so I decided just to make these like really small because I messed up the... Yeah, I just didn't measure this, okay? The spinach onion cheese mix is ready. So now, as I don't have a tripod, I can't really film myself doing this, but basically we're gonna add some filling to this and then you're supposed to brush it with the uh, egg white, but I don't have a brush, so I'm just using a fork, which works. You know, I'm used to improvising. I I think I put too much filling in here. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to close this. <laughs> Kronk would not be proud, but we're gonna just shove them in the oven and pretend it didn't happen and then hopefully they'll taste good. I mean, that's mainly why I make food anyway. I want it to taste good. Presentation is not what I'm about. I just took them out of the oven and look at this. They look so Oh, much better now that they're cooked. All right, I think Kronk would be okay with these. 
Okay, this is a lot better than I thought it would be. I didn't expect them to be bad, but I am so picky when it comes to any other kinds of cheese than the regular ones you would use for like melted cheese stuff. It's not very hard to make either. I don't know if I made it out to be harder than it was. I think anyone could make this. Obviously with varying presentation, but again, that's not my main priority. Kronk <laughs> is obviously the least villainy villain of today. He's just such a character and I love him. I can't get enough of that movie and I wish it got more attention, but at least it does have a steady fan base, so it does get appreciation, you know? I'm glad that this turned out good. I hope that my stomach doesn't get annoyed because the dough is like pre-made because my body does not like pre-made food. The corn chicken that I ate for lunch made my stomach hurt. I don't get stomach aches very often and I know I can eat all of the foods that I ate except for that because I've never had it before. And apparently corn does give some people stomach aches and stuff. So I'm just one of the unlucky ones, I guess, but at least I've tried it and I know that it's not the one for me. It's very messy to eat. Okay, it's time for the most important meal of the day, which is dessert. And I am gonna be making what every Disney fanatic fantasizes about whenever they see it. And maybe this can serve as a hint for you. I am finally gonna have creme de la creme a la Edgar. If you've seen the Aristocats, if you haven't, slight spoiler alert. This is the dish that Edgar puts sleep medicine in, gives to the cats so that they will fall asleep and he can dispose of them. We do not like Edgar, but it looks so good. I'm finally gonna try and make it. The recipe calls for whole milk, double cream, vanilla, some cinnamon, also calls for nutmeg, but I don't like buying things that I'm literally gonna use once and then never again, and sugar. I've combined everything in the pot. I'm just waiting for it to heat up. I also added a pinch of salt, by the way, I forgot to say that. Excited doesn't even cover it. I've been wanting to make this for so long. I don't know why I haven't. Maybe I should make this a regular series and like make the stuff that I see in Disney movies that I really crave because I have a list. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Oh my god. You know when you really, really look forward to something and then it actually meets your expectations? I'm so happy. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. I got some crackers to dip in it because that's what the mouse does. I'm talking about all these things assuming that everyone has seen these movies because to me it's just almost like required. These crackers give me such Wallace and Gromit vibes. Just me. Okay. Oh my god, I want to make this for everyone I know because I, oh, they need to know this goodness. You know what I just realized? In my I ate like a Disney princess for a day video, at the end of the video I had an apple, a snow white apple, and spontaneously I didn't plan to do this, I just decided to pretend to fall asleep on the table because obviously that's what the apple does. And I could literally do the same joke with this because Edgar made this with sleep medicine in it. That's actually kind of funny. Thanks for watching this video and thank you to my friend Elena who suggested it. I shall see you next Friday with a new video. Keep up the good vibes. Bye!